a lovely audience, lovely audience, and it's great to be uh, it's great to be back here, back in London. We got here we got here to Hammersmith nice and early today. Uh, we had a bite to eat around the corner, horse and hounds. Yeah, I won't be ordering that again. <laughs> it was one of those nice traditional pubs you don't see anymore. You know, with the homemade food and all that. There was a blackboard on the wall it said the chef special. I thought that's nice. Equal opportunities, employer. It's important, isn't it? <laughs> but it is nice to be back, back in lovely London because we've been travelling the country. And let me tell you, and I'm not just saying this, without any shadow of a doubt, this is the best looking group of women that have been to the show so far. And I mean that, honest to God. Not you. I'm, uh, <laughs> back off. Really are. And some of them are in the front row tonight. I mean, absolutely fantastic ladies, they really are. And uh, you're, my eyes are drawn to you, madam. Obviously, you are absolutely stunning looking. What's your name, madam? Flo. Flo? Yeah. And how did you get here? Or is that the same answer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. If your name had been Flo, that would have worked. It's your fault, that. You let yourself down. Um, <laughs> what do you do, Flo? I'm a solicitor. You're a what? Solicitor. You're a solicitor? Hey, here's one for you. This will impress you. How many female solicitors does it take to change a light bulb? Don't know, one the same as male solicitors. Bit sexist, love. You've let yourself down there. <laughs> yeah. So you, you want equal pay, but that's a bit patronising to women, princess. <laughs> let me ask you a question. When it comes to a sexual relationship, is it important to you the colour of the person's skin? No, of course it's not. I'm glad you think that way. Because recently my penis turned a weird shade of green. Flower, and, uh... <laughs> Some of the more observant amongst you will notice it's a strange use of the word weird shade of green, though, as if there's a normal shade of green that your penis could say. <laughs> and the more middle class amongst you will be pleased to hear that Lee Mac penis green is now a shade of paint at Farrow and Ball. Just <laughs> on the shelf there, next to Bobby Davro's ball sack blue. <laughs> Are you in a relationship at the moment? Who are you with? Me. You're not with Dan with the face. Fuck off! <laughs> Well done, Dan. I'm genuinely a bit shocked. That's incredible. <laughs> so you're together, I assume that was a carer situation. I didn't actually think... <laughs> okay. Well, uh, you, your choice. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's change the subject. A bit awkward, Dan. Um, what's your star sign, Dan? You tell me your star sign. I'll tell you all about your personality, because I'm an expert on star signs. You can tell me your star sign. I'll immediately know all about your personality. Dan, what's your, what's your star sign? I think I'm a Gemini. Gemini. Uh, lucky bastard. Always bats well above his average. <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> I am amazing at star signs. What's your star sign, sir? Scorpio. Scorpio. Oh, yeah. That means um, traditionally thought of as very uh, happy people, very honest, very open, uh, very loyal, and very popular with the opposite sex. <laughs> but it's not true. Being Scorpio simply means your mum and dad had it off roughly in January. That's all it means. <laughs> well, sorry, when I say roughly, I don't know. Never met them. <laughs> What's your star sign, sir? Scorpio as well. What are the chances of two of them being in the front row? Hey, not enough for me to have written another fucking joke about it. Mind your own business. <laughs> What's your star sign? Leo, same as me. When I say same as me, I mean same star sign. <laughs> I don't mean, you know, don't think we're bonding. I don't want you to start thinking we're mates. I know your type. And uh, before you know it, you'll be following back to the hotel after the gig and climbing up the drain park. Hey, Lee, it's me again. We're both Leo. Let me in. You said you were friends. Yeah, before I know it, you've smashed the window and you fucking come in, get a pair of scissors, put it to me throw and go, kiss me, lover boy. Sorry, I've got a fucking injunction against you, you weirdo. <laughs> Sorry, that's not it. Um, Leo, same as me, great communicator, good with people. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's nonsense, isn't it? Star signs doesn't mean anything. If you want to know about someone's personality, handwriting experts. They're amazing. I went to see a handwriting expert last week. She could tell I was laid back, gullible and well off just from a signature on a cheque. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not a handwriting expert. A solicitor. <laughs> so... <laughs> that's a lot of nonsense, isn't it? And by the way, you'll be pleased to hear that this flirty thing I'm doing with your flow is just a joke. I'm uh, in a happy relationship uh, at the moment. Uh, in fact, it's our anniversary next week. I remember the wedding like it was yesterday. She wore white to symbolise her purity. I wore sunglasses to shade myself from the glaring hypocrisy. <laughs> but I've got to get something for the anniversary. Her friend said to me, what do you want to do for the anniversary, right? Get yourself down to Anne Summers, right? Or Agent Provocator. Get her some sexy knickers. I thought, oh, I'll try that. I'm repressed and northern. I thought, this is going to be a problem. So anyway, I'm looking for some um, uh, knickers for my... And this woman said, certainly, sir. What are they for? <laughs> Putting on her head, she's doing a bank job. What do you mean, what are they for? <laughs> she went, this is the phrase that got me. She went, are they for fun? <laughs> for fun. I know 
what she meant. She meant sex, but she couldn't say it. She felt a bit... She went, are they for fun? It's not the right word for sex, is it? Fun. Yeah? They trust me, ask my previous partners. They'll tell you it's not the right word for sex. They'll use other words, laboured, breathy, unhygienic. But it's not fun, is it? <laughs> Actually, one of them said it was fun-sized. But... <laughs> it's not fun, is it? It's not the right word, fun. It's not a bloody theme park. Some of you are looking at me going, stop being so repressed, Lee. Cool, sex can be fun. Oh, can it? Well, there's an easy way to find out, lads. Next time you're having sex, just stop halfway and go, all right, love, this is fun. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Come on, pull the bloody party popper, love. We're having fun. <laughs> it's not fun, is it? <laughs> not bloody charades. <laughs> eh, charades, that's fun, isn't it? Watching birds of a feather, that's fun. <laughs> Teaching your kids how to fart in front of their grandparents, fun. So say what's not fun, yeah? Trying to maintain an erection, knowing that when you ejaculate, you're going to start crying! It's not fun! <laughs> oh, Christ. I cannot believe I have just admitted, on stage, to watching Birds of a Feather. 